السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning grade 6 How are you? Uh, today ان شاء الله we will uh, take uh, something like uh, pleasure like entertainment like amusement it will be reading okay uh, we have two uh, stories here in our extensive reading first one will be non-fiction non-fiction extensive reading non-fiction it's on page uh, page 80 uh, sorry page 94 of your class book page 94 of your class book okay Atlantis the lost city Atlantis the lost city before we read do you remember the word fiction I told you the definition for the word fiction fiction means imaginary from your mind uh, uh, you can make a story if you from your mind this uh, fiction like science fiction like uh, uh, any imaginary story this we call it imagination or fiction so our story non-fiction this means that our story happened or true fact okay so you have to know uh, the word fiction and its definition imaginary imagination from your mind untrue this all the meaning of the word fiction non-fiction means this story happened okay or fact or true okay so our story is fact happened really happened before we read he want us to look at the text and the picture look at the text and the picture what do you think this place is what do you think this place is uh, you will find this page uh, page 9 uh, 84 uh, sorry 94 of your class book page 94 of your class book atlantis the lost city 94 of your class book 94 and 95 this will be our story okay so you looked at the picture and this uh, the text what do you think this place is yeah very excellent i think this place is a very uh, go very good island city a palace okay this will be lost the people um, don't know where this city now find okay now you will listen carefully then we will read together me and you okay now listen carefully to the story after you finish or after uh, finishing the listening me I read then we will do the uh, activities or the exercise after reading okay now read CD3 Listening 86 Listen and read Atlantis The Lost City The story of Atlantis is one of the oldest and most interesting mysteries in the world. Many people have written books about it and made films too. So how did the story begin? Well, more than 2,000 years ago a famous Greek writer called Plato wrote a story about a beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. He called it the Island of Atlantis. Plato described the people and the island in a lot of detail. He said that the people were very rich and successful. He said there were talented engineers and architects who built fantastic palaces, houses, harbours and tunnels all over the island. They built the capital city on a hill and this was surrounded by five rings of water and land. All around the city were fields and mountains. The people were very good at farming. They kept animals in their fields 
and grew many different things, so there was always lots of food on the island. There was also lots of fresh water, and the farmers built a system for watering their fields. The richest people on the island lived in the highest mountains. Plato described the amazing buildings they lived in. He said that there were beautiful fountains with hot and cold water, gold statues and stone walls covered in precious metals and jewels. In the story of Atlantis, Plato described how clever and peaceful the people were. They loved art and beautiful things, and they lived happily and successfully together. He said that they were friendly with their neighbors on the different islands and never went to war. But then he described how they changed. As they grew richer, the people of Atlantis became selfish and greedy. They started to argue and fight with each other and the people from the other islands. Then, one day, something terrible happened. There was a huge earthquake. And great waves covered the island of Atlantis until it disappeared under the sea. In the story, Plato said that this was a punishment because the people had become so bad. For over two thousand years, everyone thought the island of Atlantis was just a fantastic story. Then, in the late eighteen hundreds, people started to think differently. It all started with an American man named Donnelly. He was a politician and a writer, and he became very interested in the story of Atlantis. He started to think that Plato had described a real place and a real tragic event. Donnelly studied the history of floods and natural disasters from Egypt to Mexico. He studied things that had happened thousands of years ago. Then. He wrote a book and explained his ideas. He thought the story was about a real natural disaster. Perhaps there was a hurricane or an earthquake in the Atlantic Ocean near the island at this time. Perhaps it destroyed the island of Atlantis and all its people. Donnelly's book was very popular, and more and more people started to think that the island of Atlantis was a real place. They started to have different ideas about where it might be and what had happened to it. Then, in the late 1960s, there was a new idea. A Greek historian discovered the ruins of an ancient city on the Greek island of Thera, which is also called Santorini. This Greek island is famous for its volcano. When the historian and his team examined the ruins of the ancient city, they found streets, buildings, pottery, and colorful wall paintings. All of these things were amazing, and they decided that a very successful group of people had once lived there. They thought perhaps these people were from the Minoan civilization. The Minoans were an ancient people. That lived around four thousand years ago on the islands in the Mediterranean. The historian and his team also decided that the ancient city on the island had been destroyed and buried by a volcanic eruption. So was Thera the island that Plato had described in his books? Was Thera the island of Atlantis? Not everyone believes that the ruins on the island of Thera are the ruins of Atlantis. Many people think the ruined island lies far beneath the sea in a different part of the world. Some people say it's near the Andes Mountains in Bolivia. Others say it's close to Florida in the U.S. Other people think it was lost somewhere in Central America, the China Sea, or Africa. Of course, there are many more people that believe Atlantis is just a story. They say it was just a part of Plato's imagination. Whatever you think, the story of Atlantis is a great story and a great mystery.
I will read for you again. Atlantis, the lost city. Okay, I read from my book because the printing on the laptop isn't clear. The story of Atlantis is one of the oldest and most interesting uh, mysterious in the world. Many people have written books uh, about it and made films too. So, how did the story begin? Well, more than 2,000 years ago, a famous Greek writer called Plato wrote a story about a beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. He called it uh, in is uh, or he called it, it the Atla the island of Atlantis. Plato described the people and the island in a lot of details. He said that the people were very rich and successful. He said they were talented engineers and architects who built famous fantastic palaces, houses, harpers, and tunnels all over the island. They built the capital city on a hill and this was surrounded by five rings of water and land. All around the city were fields and mountains. The people were very good at farming. They kept animals in their fields and grew many different things. So there was always lots of food on the island. There was also lots of fresh water and farmers built a system for watering their fields. The richest people on the island lived in the highest mountains. Plato described the amazing buildings they lived in. He said that there were beautiful fountains with hot and cold water gold statues and stone walls covered in precious metals and jewels. In the story of Atlantis, Plato described how clever and peaceful the people were. They loved art and beautiful things and they lived happily and successfully together. They said that they were friendly with their neighbors on the different islands and never went to war. He said that they were friendly with their neighbors on the different islands and never went uh, to war. But then he described how they changed. As they grew richer, the people of Atlantis became selfish and greedy. They started to argue and fight with each other and the people from the other islands. Then, one day, something terrible happened. There was a huge earthquake and great waves covered the island of Atlantis until it disappeared under the sea. In the story, Plato said that this was a punishment because the people had become so bad. For over 2000 years, everyone thought the island of Atlantis was just a fantastic story. Then, in the late 18th, 1800, people started to think differently. It all started with an 
American man named Donnelly. He was a politician and a writer, and he became very interested in the story of Atlantis. He started to think that Plato had described a real place and a real tragic event. Next page. <coughs> I'm sorry. Donnelly studied the history of floods and natural disasters from Egypt to Mexico. He studied things that had happened thousands of years ago. Then he wrote a book and explained his ideas. He thought the story was about a real natural disaster. Perhaps there was a hurricane or an earthquake in the Atlantic Ocean near the island at this time. Perhaps it destroyed the island of Atlantis and all its people. Donnelly, Donnelly's book was very popular and more and more people started to think that the island of Atlantis was a real place. They started to have different ideas about where it might be and what had happened to it. Then, in the late of uh, 1960, there was a new idea. A Greek historian called discovered the ruins of uh, an ancient city on the Greek island of Thera, which is also called uh, Santorini. Santorini. <laughs> Sorry. The Greek island is famous for its volcano. When the historian and his team examined the ruins of the ancient city, they found streets, buildings, pottery, and colorful wall paintings. All of these things were amazing and they decided that a very successful group of people had once lived there. They thought perhaps where they thought perhaps these people were from the uh, Minona civilization. The Minion were an ancient people that lived around 4,000 years ago on the, islands of, uh, on the islands in the Mediterranean. The historian and his team also decided that the ancient city on the island had been destroyed and buried by a volcano eruption. So was Thera, the island that Plato had described in his books? Was Thera the island of Atlantis? This is the question. Not everyone believes that the ruins on the island of Thera are the ruins of the Atlantis. Many people think the Ruined island lies far beneath the sea in a different part of the world. Some people say it's near the Andes mountains in Bolivia. Others say it's close to Florida in the U.S. Other people think it was lost somewhere in Central America, the China Sea or Africa. Of course, there are many more people that believe Atlantis is just a story. They say it was just a part of Plato's imagination. Whatever you think, 
the story of Atlantis is a great story and a great mystery. Okay, uh, now in this page, page uh, 95, you have four questions. Okay, read again and answer the questions. Who wrote about uh, the island of Atlantis? Search for the answer and write here. In the story, uh, number two, what were the people on the island like at first? Search for the details about the people in Atlantis. In the story, what happened to the island? In the story, what happened to the island? Okay, hurricane, earthquake, uh, uh, volcano, what happened? What did, last question, what did they find in, uh, on Thera in 1960? What the historian or what the people find in Thera? Thera, okay, in the 1960. These are four questions. Uh, read the story of Atlantis again and answer this question. After you finish, you have to go to your workbook, okay? Page, let me see. Wait, wait a minute. It will be 82, page 82 of your workbook. Also revision, okay, page 82. Now goodbye uh, to meet you again, okay, goodbye.